James chapter 1 verse 22 says, But be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Pastor John Corson said in su on Sunday, when there's an opportunity within the ministry, if you don't know, get up and go. I think that is true with what uh, James is saying here. He's saying, don't just be hearers of the word. Don't only listen to what the word is saying, but get up and become a doer. In other words, take action. When the word says, resist the devil, then take action by resisting the devil. Don't read and say, oh, yeah, that is that was great, a great verse, you know? And, and you never really do what it says. If you are not applying, then what's the point of living by faith? Your belief will become wearied. Like, you, not, I mean, think of it as you listen to music, and you're listening, and you're listening, and you're listening, but when you stop listening to music, you're stopping, you're taking action within, within the, the, the song that you're listening to, you're gonna become worn out because you're not taking action in that song. You're not listening to that song anymore. And the same thing with just reading, you know, I mean, if you read lyrics, you're just reading their lyrics, but if you're not singing the lyrics, you're just, you're singing it to your heart's content and you, and it just makes you feel alive when you sing it. So that's the same with the word, is you're, you're basically singing the, the scripture. And that's what we do at church, we sing the scripture. We take action by worshiping. And so that's, that's another way of taking action and applying it, you know, just doing it. It's about taking action in what you learn from the word. James goes on and says, it, that if you only hear the word, you will deceive yourself. By saying that you believe in the word and not taking action in it means you have lied to yourself. You, you, you read the word, you understood the word, and, but you didn't, and you believed in the word, but you didn't take action in it. Then you just lied. You're just basically lying to yourself. Oh yeah, I believe in the word, but I'm not going to actually do it. See, that's a lie. You're, you're just lying to yourself. And so by li so live by the word. If you don't know what it means, if you don't understand what the Bible is talking about, some things that I read in, in the book doesn't make sense. But if you don't know get up and get out to ask those who are wise. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 17 says, Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. Lastly, Psalms 119.11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. And it's important that we put the word in our minds and we're memorizing it. And that is taking action. That, and by memorizing the word, we'll be able to not uh, sin against the Lord and be tempted. We'll be strong in the word. That's why it's important is to be strong. And that's why we need to take action and we need to apply it within our hearts so that we can withstand the trials that we're going through so we can withstand the sins that is being put in our lives. So I want to leave you with this question. How are you living by the word?